Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this video on how to prepare your tractor to replace a variator drive on a John Deere 216 tractor. First of all, you'll want to remove any mounted implement, such as the 46 mower, which you're seeing in the picture, the other side of the mower deck and remove it from under the side of the tractor. Then you want to remove any mounted implement such as a front mounted blade. Once that has been completed, you are about ready to start the uh, removal of certain items to get at the variator. First of all, we want to remove the battery. So we remove the battery clamp battery, battery cables. Take those out, then remove the battery box. Remove each side panel. That'll be the left and right side panel. And then for ease of getting at the variator, I recommend removing the hood assembly. And to remove the hood assembly, you disconnect the front lights and then remove four bolts, two on the left support and two on the right support. And then you can remove your hood assembly. This allows for better access into the variator without bumping into the hood. Once that's completed, you have the option of doing the following, which I do for the comfort of getting at the uh, high tension springs and the secondary springs of the variator, which is removing the fender deck. To remove the fender deck, you remove the pedals. There are two bolts in each pedal, that being the right pedal and the left pedal. Once the pedals are removed, there are four bolts. One where I'm pointing at, which is on the left side, and under that bolt is a bushing which is not welded to the frame. So take care to save that bushing. Then we move to the rear of the tractor Remove the two carriage bolts on each side of the fender deck. And if you are equipped with lights, disconnect the lights. Also to remember to remove the switch uh, pigtail underneath the seat. Once all four of those bolts are removed, then the last items to take off will be the knobs. Take off the brake knob, shifter knob, and the mower depth control knob. Once those are out, you want to get two folks, one on each side of the fender deck, and then move, remove it by tilting it up and bringing it out of the tractor. Okay, that exposes everything for the variator. Now, let's move to my bench where I have a cutaway, that is a cutaway of a variator, so it can give you a better visual of the unit. We'll start at the rear where we are with the pulley for the transmission. This is the secondary idler which applies tension to this when you press your clutch in it pushes it up, releases the tension and when you release it, it pushes it down. Then we move into the variator itself which is a fairly complex little unit. You'll need to remove the belts. It is recommended at this time you replace the belts at the, to get the best performance from the overhauled variator. To replace the long belt, you'll need to take this pulley loose from the transmission. You cannot get the belt off of the transmission, between the transmission and the pulley, there just isn't enough room. And the service manual says you have to do this, and they're right. 
Otherwise, you're going to cut a new belt or damage it. So to do that, I'm going to move over to my prop of a Peerless 2300 transmission. <clears throat> and this will be the right side of the tractor. And then you can just either take the right uh, tire off and put a jack stand under the axle or reach under and expose each bolt, taking each one out and then taking the pulley down and the belt will come off easily. After that, please refer to the John Deere service manual for removing the variator. And one of the other things you'll have to do is remove the two Wilkie plugs here to gain access to the pivot bolt for the variator and the uh, adjustment bolt. Down and by the battery, you'll find the vertical link, which you can't see from this picture, which is, uh, I should have a, <clears throat> a removable hairpin in it with a washer, save them both, and that'll release the uh, variator lever from the variator. Now let's look at how a variator should operate with new components. This particular tractor has a new center hub bearing and sliding shiv. It operates just like from the factory. So I'm, this time I'm going to start the tractor and show the operation. concludes the small demonstration of how to prepare your tractor for uh, uh, variator replacement. Off.